Hey guys, welcome back after a day of Vlogmas with no upload, which is fine. Like I was taking a mental health break, honestly. I had no interest in editing yeah, or recording. Because so. the first week we uploaded, she was not working. Uh, it so was she, much easier to do. And sure. I don't know how to edit, so she has to teach me, but I need to put the time in to actually want to learn. So, But today's video is going to be on how we met. Yeah. I did this video years ago when him and I were just boyfriend and girlfriend. And it got some good interactions and some good stories that you guys shared with me. So I thought it would be a good idea to share the story again with our new viewers, but with Mike here with me. Let's just like set the mood or like set like what was going on, which is hockey Twitter in yeah. back in the day. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know or aren't enough Twitter fandom, I guess you could say, hockey Twitter was very it was big in. I remember, I remember it. Now. That's when I was like, so when I first got into like hockey Twitter, like the fandom, I was probably like 12 or 13. There's actually like at least a handful of, or probably like 10 people from hockey Twitter that I followed when I was like 12 years old that I still follow to this day. Yeah. And I still keep in touch with like as far as like social media, like liking each other's posts or whatnot, mm -hmm. not like actually talking, which is just pretty crazy to think that it's been like 10 years now. She was in... Devil's, Devil's Twitter. Twitter. And I wasn't in a specific team fandom. I was just like... Wow, fake fan. Well, because there was no Panthers fandom. There, there's like, there was like five people that I followed that were in a fandom for the Panthers, but... Somewhere along the line, <laughs> we ended up following each other. I followed her, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember, honestly. Okay. And he is obviously younger than me, so... I don't know She didn't what... like bat an eye, really. Well, I don't know the timing of it because I had a boyfriend at the time. But... I, didn't, I don't know when you followed me, honestly. So we started following each other on Twitter and we never really talked. We just kind of saw each other's tweets or I don't remember seeing any of his tweets, honestly. He apparently saw <laughs> mine, but I just do not remember that. Yeah, I don't really remember how it all started, but I, I remember following her and her friend Becca. Oh, yes. And so that's funny. And I remember following them on Instagram both for quite a while. And then nothing really ever like happened, you know what I mean? I actually would toss him over to my friend Becca because... I never talked to Becca. Though. No, but no, listen. I'm more shy and reserved yeah. and Becca is my close friend and she was more outgoing and um, all that kind of stuff. So when he would reach out to me, I was like, here, talk to my friend Becca because I knew Whoa. she would be more outgoing. Fast forward to college, I had an internship and I was just scrolling through my Snapchat and I had a bunch of these random people from Hockey Twitter, from like Omegle back in the day. All these random people. What? Nothing. I started erasing people because at that point I was like, I don't know who these people are. I'm just going to erase them all because they're just irrelevant. But for some reason, I didn't remove him even though I really didn't have any idea who you were. Yeah, so I don't it was know like, how that happened. I remember because like when I hit her up, I didn't have you on its social media anymore. I no, I don't know why I kept him on Snapchat. It's clearly because fate. I just don't know what made me not delete him but i didn't so then you can now fast forward to when, when I, I was a junior yeah you a were a junior, junior in college in college and yes. i was yeah junior high school i remember i messaged her she was at a party and it was a picture with bailey and i remember the pants she was wearing i thought she was wearing them right now but um yeah there were some like weird colorful pants i threw them out and i remember her pose she was like okay some, all right okay i don't know i think i ever just replied like cute or something like that no, he says he only said cute, but I remember him messaging. Looking cute. I remember him messaging me and being like, "Hey, like you look really good. Hope all is well." <laughs> I never said that. I just said cute. No, you yeah. wouldn't have because I'm telling you, I would not I was have just responded. Through Snapchat, no, if he like, had oh. just messaged me cute, I would not have responded to you. No. Nah. I know for a fact he said you look really good. Hope all is well, or nah. something along those <laughs> no lines. No way. Yes. There's no way. I'm telling you. I was like, 17, guys, I'm telling you guys, I would not have responded to him if he said cute. I'm, I just wouldn't have. I'm pretty sure I was just like. Scrolling, I was like, oh yeah, like, and then I was like, cute. No. I was at a time in my life where I was finally happy with myself, so I would not have entertained that. She hit me back, I just though. would not have. She hit me back. Yes, I did respond because he said that nice thing, like, hope all is well, so that was a conversation. I was like, everything's really good. I really didn't know who he was, but then once he messaged me, I looked him up on Instagram, because then I was able to see who it was. I was like, okay, he's cute. I'll, I'll entertain it. So that's when I was just like, yeah, like I'm really good and um 
We started talking. We started there. talking because I, I remember I asked him for his number. I was like, this is much easier to text. So I was like, here's Clever. my number. Then from there, um, basically we just started talking and then, you know, we would just text every now and then. We, we, we started FaceTiming. He's doing, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> we would fa- we FaceTimed a lot. Like, I remember we would FaceTime until I fell asleep. Like, yeah. we were, like, actually, like, talking a lot. Um, and then she came down and we made, like, plans to see each other. In uh, it was so fast, honestly. Now that I think about it, we were talking. We we're talking before we actually met in person for like two months. No, three months. We started talking. Yeah, it was in September, September and, and I met you in December. Yeah, so three months. Three months. Like three and a half, because it was late December. We yeah. started talking like early, early September. But it was never like, oh, we're dating. It was like just talking, like, oh, I hope we can date. Yeah, yeah. And, and at this point, I had already enlisted in the Marine Corps. Oh, so um, I had flown down to Florida, or no, I had driven down to Florida with my yeah. family because we were visiting family. And I and drove up like two and a half hours, I think. It just so everything worked out just so perfectly that he was from florida and i was already going to florida anyway for christmas so it just like lined up and i was living in that and he was about to leave for the marines and i was from, i'm from miami but when i had started talking to her i was already living in naples which was only an hour i think two hours from where she was going to which was bradington like that area apollo beach area which is on the west side of florida if i was still living in miami she would have been like five hours away or six hours mm-hmm. i don't know i don't remember but we started dating yeah that so day literally, we met that I, day we met yeah we started dating. i asked you to be my girlfriend like the day we met and it's weird like when you talk to someone online for so long you meet them in person and it's almost like you're just putting you're just seeing them in person now like yeah. you literally feel like you know the person when you talk to yeah. someone online for so long and not just text like there's a difference between just texting someone and like actually like when you FaceTime them so much and see them on FaceTime, when you see them in person, it really feels like you, you, this is not the first time you hung out. And my life has always been online. So I, have I. A all, lot of people yeah. I meet are always like All on my friends are media. from Twitter. I was big into hockey Twitter, so I met everyone from there. So meeting him was just like yeah. easier for me almost. I have social anxiety in other situations, but that situation doesn't bring me anxiety. It kind of is easier for me because... I don't know. Yeah. We started dating. We got married. We have a kid. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we all... started dating. Yes, I know. There's a lot of time yeah. in between these events, but the moral of the story is we now have a kid. We've been married for almost two years now. It's yeah. going on two years. Our four years and... of being together yeah. is actually in like two or three weeks. Um, and it is all because of Twitter. I was going to go into like some stuff about like what happened uh, right after we started dating because I was supposed to go to boot camp like the 23rd. Uh, so I'll just say that everything else after that is obviously irrelevant. It's that's history. Not, yeah. Uh, but so basically right after we started dating, I was supposed to go to boot camp sometime in March. Uh, and then, but like hopefully January 23rd was what I thought that like the earliest would be. So she bought a plane ticket to come visit me, I think the 14th of January around that area, around that time to see me before I left yeah. to boot camp. On like a Thursday... My recruiter calls me. This was like January 4th, right after New Year's. My recruiter calls me and says, hey, like, what are you doing this weekend? I'm like, oh, nothing. And I basically was, he was like, all right, you want to go to boot camp on Sunday? And back then, I'm like, hell oh my yeah. God, I cried uh, so, uh, no, I like, cried I wanna, so much. Yeah, I, I was back. so she upset. Lost all, she lost her money. Yeah, I never got money for that plane ticket back. Looking back, like, the bigger picture, I wish I would have just waited, like, but then no, when you look back again, be out now. yeah, I wouldn't be out right now. Yeah. I'd still be in the Marine Corps for another couple months, so it all works out. But yeah, I yeah. ended up going to boot camp that week. You know, I, obviously at that point we were I was dating for excited. a week. Yeah. Mike and I had been dating for a week before we left for boot camp. You think so about it, a lot of our time was long our, distance for the first year or two. At least. The first three months of our relationship, the honeymoon phase, were over letters. It was yeah. not fun, and. It was just not fun, and it's crazy that we did make it through and, like, become stronger because we really honestly then, didn't know each other. And then I went to ITB. Like, so basically, I saw her for, like, three days, yeah. really, if you put it into perspective, before boot camp. <laughs> went to boot camp. Went to ITB. Oh, she saw me for, like, another two days in ITB. Then I hit the fleet. When I got to my unit, I saw her one weekend, like, every month I would yeah. drive to Jersey. All the way up until... We got married and, well, we started living together. Yeah, so basically, I mean, Christmas leave and, like, so I would see her, like, I would see her once a month for about four days, which isn't bad. Luckily, like, she was only eight hours away and I would drive. (laughs) If I had a one three-day weekend, I would drive up and I had plenty of those. So for the first year of our relationship, I'd say we spent about five months of time together, if that. Yeah. And then, obviously, you know, we started living together and now we've been together every single day for, like, three years, (laughs) I guess now. Yeah, but, Mike um, and I spend a lot of time together. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I love it. I, know, I just feel like he <laughs> low-key no, is hating like, it. No, she's like a lot of time together. No. More of like a person that likes to get out of the house, though. She's like, she But loves, that's a new thing. It is. That is a new thing because he's it's, always been a homebody. I think it's just because I don't have to get out of the house now. So I feel like I want to. And obviously being not in the Marine Corps anymore, like I just feel like a sense of urgency to like go and do things. But luckily, like I said plenty before, I'm still into fitness. That is how we met. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. And we'll see you in our next video. Don't promise anything. I don't know if there'll be a vlog tomorrow. Okay. Tune for it's our fine, next it's video. It's fine. It's fine. We'll see you guys next time. Yes. Thank <laughs> you.